everyone, Dreadful Sleep here with another coded ball hockey video. So today we're playing Publix once again, and we're gonna see if we can score as many goals as possible coming into the game and whether or not we can win this game. Other than that, if y'all do like, want to see more content like this, please do like, subscribe, and comment down below, and always hit that notification bell. I will see y'all in the video. All right, everyone, welcome back to another Coded Ball Hockey video. We are playing Publix with the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Edmonton Oilers today. I will see y'all in the video. All right, here we go. We have the opening faceoff coming up now with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I think I might be a center. I don't even know what position I'm playing anymore. <laughs> anyway, so let's get right into it. The first period as the ball comes down to the ice and I block that uh, shot from going on net, Alfie and net for us. I'm going to put that back down around in the Christmas tree on the other side now who is going to play it, maybe. He shoots on net, and there we go. That's the first goal of the game. That was quick in the get into the game. So one nothing already against Edmonton with 6.47 left in the first period. Blocked by Nope as we have Boy and Smaller Man on us as well. That is clear down to the right side with Alfie not even covering the net. So we have an, pretty much an open net right now as he is absolutely not even moving. Christmas tree on the left side going behind the net making a wrap and he doesn't complete it with smaller man getting in the way okay we got Christmas tree up in front come on he shoots it on net but it's saved again Christmas tree still has it there we go snipe right there makes it three nothing so 33 seconds left in the first period as that's the first goal for me with a snipe on the top left shelf so there we go on to the next play that is the end of the first period, guys. It's 3 nothing is the score as of now. We have a goal, and the, uh, shoot, Christmas tree has two goals. So he's close to the 1,800 as I am closing in on 1,860. All right, guys, let's see what we do in the second period. Oh, my Lord. Alfie, what the heck? All right, so Alfie came way out of net there. Right up in front, there was two guys over there. They might make a shot right here. And that is the first shot on goal and goal as Alfie is an absolute unit in net. Another unfortunate play is we're struggling to do anything. So that is the end of the second period. 3-1 to one is the score as they finally got their first shot on goal at nearly at the end point of the second period as the goalie wasn't even paying attention in the net. Let's see in the third. Small man on that right side, but he gets blocked by three players. So Mark has it still. He might clear it around, but Small man pulls it back off. Come on, get, stop holding onto it. You keep getting stopped. Mark right there. Gets blocked on that right side as they still have stuff going down. Good lord. That back down to the right side and it's cleared back around the boards and it's going to the left side with smaller man and we got the boy guy down there over there. Blocked again. Good lord, these guys are brutal. Here we go, right there, we tip it in, so we have a tip in right there. 41.4 seconds left in the third period to tie it up, so that's a way to do it. And that is the end of the third period, so to overtime we go. I think this could be the first overtime I've ever played in coded ball hockey in a video, so let's see what we can do here, whether we can pull it off the victory, even though the game shouldn't be this close due to the goalie being absolutely imp incompetent in net and my team not being able to play offense for the life of them. So let's see how we do. Oh, it pushes on net and it stays out somehow. It goes behind the goalie and it stays out in the way. I get blocked that shot right there so I get more opportunities. To oh my God, moved a lot. All right, so here we go. Still a bunch of battling going behind the net now as I try getting in there to pull it off, but it's still not working. Get my bodies in there maybe. Come on, Christmas tree, right in front. So much battling going on. We got five minutes left. It's clear down the other side of the ice with Smaller Man who misses it. So I'm going to come up on it. Do not clear that. Oh my Lord. Could have had possession there. Now we got a battle up in front behind the net again. Come on, Christmas. Shoots it on net and it's wide to the left. Christmas tree still over there behind the net again. We have 450 left in the overtime period. So this is the first OT. Go down around the boards. Christmas tree right there. He shoots it across and it goes off the goalie but stays out still as Jillod can't finish off the shot. We have Christmas tree on that right side still. Shoots on net. Blocked again. We have Christmas tree still up with the ball. He passes it across. Oh my lord. Stop taking it from me. This has been a common occurrence all freaking game. Clear that around again. Shoot on net again. And it goes through, but can't stay on net as it stays away. Wide to the left as Christmas Tree's behind the net now. He gets, tries to make a move up front, but doesn't work that way either. Come on. Shoots it. 
There we go, that's the end of the game. It's an overtime goal for Christmas Tree to get the overtime winner. 5-4 is the final with 2.48 left in that overtime period. Got two goals, four shots on goal, and then he got three goals. So he got the hat trick to finish up the game. So other than that, hope you all enjoyed that video. Let's see you Bye.